How's the event? Good, yeah, it was a great time. Yeah. Um, so, the experience this year on offense is obviously uh, more so running back than it was maybe last year, where it was kind of more quarterback heavy. Is, is y'all's depth and experience going to change uh, how much the offense goes through the running backs? Uh, I guess there's a chance of that. Um, but really, you still have to have all the other pieces. So you still have to be, you know, play well and execute at quarterback to make everything work. So uh, we can rely on those guys for a few more things. Um, but really, you know, we got to block people up front. We got to play well at quarterback, and then obviously at running back. So, but the good thing is, you know, we have some options to be able to rotate some guys too. So, which which guy do you feel like has improved the most from last year, and in which area? Whether that's uh, blocking or or whatever. Wow. Uh, I would say uh, they've all improved in something. Um, you know, probably Chuba's improved in just overall mass and size, strength. Uh, JD has become more of a, a well-rounded football player. Justice is doing uh, really improved a lot as a pass receiver. So, you know, an LD, the same thing as kind of Chuba and JD combined is, is just being a more well-rounded football player, being able to do all aspects of the game. So they've all improved quite a bit. Chuba's gotten bigger? Oh, yeah. Is Much he, bigger. Is he as fast? Uh, I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we talked to, he looks fast at practice. Yeah. So. We talked to Justice at Big 12 Moon Days. He said Chuba was the most improved. That's yeah. who he pointed to. Yeah. He said he was a track player when he started at LSU, yeah. and now he's like a football player. What, is, yeah. what does that mean? Like, how does that how does the transformation well, come you know, t- Typically, track guys, are uh, they're not used to getting beat up. And, right. you know, and, and may have a reputation of being soft. Chuba's not soft. I mean, just he had to make a transition from uh, 12 guys on the field and like seven of them are motioning yeah. forward to, to American football. So, um, you know, really in a lot of situations I've been in, you, you play him a lot as a freshman. So he just had to make the transition. He's doing it really well. So I'm excited about him. Yeah, we got to stop talking about him. I don't want anyone else to know about him yet. <laughs> so, it's your secret weapon. You? Secret weapon, man. Yeah, we're letting the cat out of the bag. <laughs> how, how uh, in terms of justice, what does he do better? You know, people talk about him as being one of the best running backs in the country. What is one thing that he does better, you feel like, that he can do I would say his balance, body control, his agility, uh, you know, ability to make people miss in space, that all works together. His, his foot quickness, foot quickness is, is elite. Yeah. I haven't been around a guy that can do that. I've been around bigger guys and probably straight line faster guys, but uh, just that overall package of his ability to laterally move and still keep his balance to bounce off of tackles. And then he's tough. A guy's a warrior. I mean, he just I think he played 90 something plays in the game last year once. So, um, so those things really just make him as good as I've been around. Yeah. There were two cuts that I remember. One in the Tulsa game, the opener last year, that yep. was insane. Yep. And there was one at I think it was out West Virginia. Mm-hmm. That was just, or maybe it was at Pitt. It might have been at Pitt. That was just a little. Yeah, he scored. He scored on, he scored on yeah. uh, two jump cuts yep. against yeah. Pitt from about 15 yards out. Is that the one that sticks yeah. out to you? Yeah, yeah. That's that one's really special. Um, that one at Tulsa was really good. He's got a tremendous jump cut. He just can laterally go, and then he doesn't just stop and move sideways, but then he can accelerate forward too. So he's he's really good with that. Um, that that burst uh, after the cut. Um, you know, and then he, he had a bunch against Oklahoma that stand out. I mean, those are more physical ones where he he trucked that guy and kept going. And I don't I don't know how he does that, but he just keeps doing it. It's impressive. It seems like there's a lot of pride in the in the running back room. I know all these videos have gotten posted. And JD and those guys yeah. left in. How much do you guys talk about that? I think they talk about a lot among themselves. The coolest thing to me about those videos is they, they lift all that weight and then they celebrate with a running back right away. So I don't know if anyone ever sees that or talks about that, but the, the weight was really cool. But that guy turns around and he finds Chuba right away. So that to me was really, really cool. They, they're they close uh, off the field. They cheer for each other. It's it's a neat group that way. So you, t- you took one running back last cycle, mm-hmm. uh, Jamil, uh, Jamil Jeter. I don't know if I'm yep. right. Uh, what do you see from him that uh, you know that he can be at Oklahoma State? 
Well, he's uh, obviously he's just getting here, so um, he's gone through the summer. He's big. Uh, he is a, a big, big man, and uh, so he's going to have to bring that part of the game. That's going to have to be his dominant trait. He's going to have to be a big, strong uh, enforcer, and then he's he is straight line fast. We saw that in camp. So yeah, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah, exciting play. Justice going to the next level. What's the biggest thing he needs to work on to have success? As a pro, um, you know, really, I think if he, he uh, he's shown on film that he's willing to pick up the blitz, I think if he continues to do that, that'll help with the scouts. And then I think if he can add to his game as a receiver, yeah. both out of the backfield or even flexing out or whatever, route runner, um, he's got good ball skills. So I think if he adds that to his his game, it'll, it'll help him a bunch. That seems like something, I know you weren't here, but Joe Randall became mm-hmm. a really good <laughs> yep. pass catcher. Right. Or he, he was kind of from the beginning, but yeah. I feel like there's a lot of, Justice might be a little quicker, but it seems like there's a lot of comps between the two. Yeah. I hear that a lot, yeah, he and uh, Kendall, yeah. Kendall Hunter also, so there's a lot of the comparisons with those guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I'm good, you got anything else? Uh, any more recruiting? Yeah, how, I mean, how, how is it to recruit at Oklahoma State just with Barry Sanders and Thurman Thomas, Justice Hill? <laughs> yeah, no, it's I mean, does that, does a that pretty cool thing, all? you know. Yeah, you got you got some things that, you know, would attract running backs here because yeah. uh, there's been a proven recipe from, obviously, Coach Gundy playing with Barry and Thurman all the way till now. It's uh, – there's not a lot of starting running backs here that haven't gone to the NFL. Uh, I don't, I can't think of one. I mean, you go Joe Randall and Chris Carson, Kendall Hunter. Just go through the guys, just right down the line for the last 10, 15 years, and then all the way back to Barry and Thurman. There's, I'd have to research it, but there's not many that don't go to the NFL from here. Um, if you're a real dude here, you're going to be a dude in the NFL. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing to sell, and and. Uh, We've got a good place for that. Makes your job easier, I think. Sure does. Yeah. Is yeah. yeah. Justice the best you've ever coached? The best one I've personally coached, yes. Um, yeah, there, there's, I've been around great ones. I, I was at Alabama with Eddie Lacy and TJ Yeldon. Uh, I wasn't the running back coach there, though. So, um, you know, those guys are really special players, too, first-round picks. So the best one I've personally coached, yeah, he is, for sure. Yeah. You know, that's what I've been around, maybe. I mean, he's as good as, you know, any I've been around. I've been around some great ones at LSU, and I was here when Vernon Morenci came through. Um, he was really good. I've uh, been around some great ones. We had a fourth-round pick down Southern Miss, and I think he's he's really, really good. He's yeah. as good as that kid. So, yeah. Morenci's awesome. He was really good. Yeah, yeah he, he was, was fun. Was good. He, right. was, he was fun to watch because he was – Really good ball security. He was explosive and just could, but he could slash too. He was, he he was really good that year for us. 2004, I guess, was his last year here. So, yeah, great player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For good reason. He seems like somebody who could fit in like an LSU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he probably the size that some of those guys look for. So, yeah, just, just as good as I've been around. I mean, I've been around a lot of NFL backs, and I just. I can't think of one that's like, oh, yeah, that guy was better. Right. There's not one that's obviously better than him. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's a special kid and a special player. With the depth at uh, running back, final question. Yeah, no. uh, there, there's a fan's plea that like, get him in a box formation, do something, put them all on the field. Uh, that's this little, is why I stay off the damn internet, by the way. That's a, that's a little wild. It's, it's why out we there. want to stay off the damn yeah, internet. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you how do you manage that? I mean, you got three guys, four guys who can well, generally start for the 12 team. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you try to find a role for everybody. That's the biggest thing. How do you find a role where they can all contribute to the team because they all have the ability to help us win games? So whether that's different formations, personnel groupings, you know, all those things are, are things that we talk about a lot actually. So um, regardless of new formations fans come up with, <laughs> so but. Uh, Trust me, I like I like my job and I like winning games. So we'll, yeah. we'll find anything we have to do to, to get that done. Yeah. So including using all those running backs. Is that, is so. that, are you a lever kid for recruiting? Them? I mean, I know we're kind of joking about it. But no, I, I don't. I don't really follow it. Um, you know, I, I guess I should more, but I just. I don't know. I, I talk to recruits, and they'll ask me an off the wall question, and I'm like, where Where do you hear this from? Where Where does that come from? And, 
Yeah. Someone told me the other day Chuba still had a crystal ball prediction to Oregon. You guys been here a year <laughs> yeah, and a half. That, that has been I'm a like, Yeah, that's, yeah that's I mean, true. I, I don't even know what a crystal ball prediction is. What, what the hell is so? Whatever, man. I mean, I, those things are so off the wall to me. So, yeah. you know, recruiting wise, it, it um, I probably should follow some things more, I guess, because yeah. uh, you just get you get off the wall questions yeah. about random stuff. You know, like that's really out there. That like someone really says that. And um, anything you know, could just, happen on know, Twitter. Yeah, and it's <laughs> you know, and that's part of the game. We can't talk publicly about certain recruits right. or any recruit, obviously. So. Yep. You know, what the perception of certain things become out there is what the reality is going to be, regardless of what we think. We can't, we're not going to talk about it. We can't. That's how it should be. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs>